Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first six commandments, and now it's time for the seventh, Thou shalt not steal. We've discussed what it means to steal and how possessions are supposed to work according to the will of God. This week, we'll be discussing borrowing and debts. If you accumulate a debt, knowing that you can't pay it back, is that stealing? When someone accumulates a debt, this is done by borrowing money or some other goods from someone else. In many instances, you can borrow something from someone else intending to pay it back, and misfortune simply prevents you from doing so. In other situations, somebody can just give you something for free because they know you're in desperate need, and you're not required to pay them back in either case because you simply can't. In order to be morally obligated to do something, you need to be able to do it. However, sometimes a person will borrow money from someone else knowing that they won't be able to pay it back, even though the other person doesn't know. The problem with doing this is that whenever someone lends you something, that thing still belongs to them. It's just being lent to you. For example, if I lend you my bicycle, it's still my bicycle to lend. And we recognize this when we say things like, I borrowed his bicycle. It's only if I actually give it away to you that the bicycle becomes yours. Now, when you borrow something that belongs to me without intending to be able to pay me back, you're planning on not returning to me the things that belong to me. In other words, you're taking property of mine intending to keep it. Not only is this stealing, but I would say it qualifies as theft as well. If the person reasonably wants to have their possession back, as we defined in episode 115 on the topic of theft, then this kind of borrowing is definitely theft. In other words, borrowing something from someone without intending to be able to give it back is a form of theft, if it fulfills the other criteria for an action being theft. So what kinds of actions are like this? Well, obviously there's borrowing money from a friend or neighbor without intending to be able to pay it back, racking up debts to a bank or credit card company, or any other money lending agency, company, or group qualifies as well if you don't plan on paying them back. Even tax evasion, planning things out so that one is intentionally unable to pay one's taxes, falls under this heading. All of these things can be theft and are therefore against the Seventh Commandment. Next time, what about fraud? Is that against the Seventh Commandment? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.